Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be removing the top of this porch and replacing it with boards. This entire porch was going to be replaced as soon as I got the wood shop set up, but that's not going to happen for a little bit yet, and this really needs replacement. It's getting kind of dangerous. This is just OSB on the top. This is treated wood. This is okay, but what I'm going to do is take this OSB off of here and put deck boards on. As soon as the wood shop's done, I'll be replacing what I do today. This will move around the corner for the back door and we'll be getting a real nice deck here that ties in with a walkway over to the driveway there. That's going to be pretty cool as well, but I really can't do that stuff without the wood shop. So that'll wait for the wood shop. Until then, let's replace this deck and we'll have something that looks nicer and is a good deal safer. I've actually been kicking this ball for over a half hour now. It's probably been 20 times and she just doesn't give up. Are you done now? Can we stop? Okay, first thing I gotta do is get this top off and it looks like that's a nail. I can't remember how this was put on. This has square drive, so I'll pull that off first. Oh, and that is number 15 Torx. So I need a number 15 Torx, a square drive, and this remains to be seen. I may have to just yank this off. All right, I gathered up some tools. And it looks like these are Phillips screws in there. Hopefully I can get them out. Hopefully they don't disintegrate on me. And that should be good enough to start with. Let's get started on this.
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, these screws, the heads are all messed up on them. They are pretty flimsy, but I'm still gonna have to cut these off. I'll just go along and cut them off flush. It'd be nice if I could use the oscillating tool, but the Sawzall is a better tool for that if you have a metal blade. And I'm not 100% certain that I have a metal blade. I'm gonna have to go look for that. But cut these off, clean this out a little bit, get this mess cleaned up, and then I can start cutting the boards and installing them. Okay, it is time for a break. I got the whole deck off and I got all of the screws out of the way. Next thing I need to do is get this re-leveled. Well, after a big cleanup, get this thing re-leveled and the boards pretty much just got to be cut to length. And I believe only the very back one is going to be cut at all. So that should be fairly easy. All right, let me cool off for a little bit and I'll get right back at this. Okay, all done with lunch. Now I need to go find the wheelbarrow to get rid of this stuff. I believe this is pretty level. What it is, is it's just pushed more towards the house on that side. So it looks like it's not level, but I do believe it is level, but we'll check that in a minute. Let me find a wheelbarrow for this stuff. Right after I started work on the deck this morning, I came over here to get some stuff. And I was thinking to myself last night, I'll bet that that amp gauge is just stuck because it's brand new. This is a 60 amp gauge instead of the old 30 amp one because it's now a 12 volt. So I came over here, leaned over from that side and just gave it the slightest little tap and it went back to zero. So. The amp gauge is good. Well, hopefully it doesn't stick again. And the oil pressure, I believe it was at 12, but it might have been at 15. And it's supposed to be 15 at idle. So once I get the fuel system hooked up and get an air cleaner on it, I'm gonna drive this thing around, go take it down the road over here and see what the gauges say at load, or at least at that little bit of load, and see if it changes. It should be between 20 and 30 at load and again I don't know how much of a load it's going to be on just driving up and down this road but it has 1030 in it instead of straight 30 weight so once it warms up the oil gauge may change so we'll see on that got a bit of a mess here from working on the tractor yesterday but there's my boards what do we got here three seven boards so that shouldn't take long at all. All I got to do, these are eight foot and right around three eighths of an inch long. I just got to trim both ends nice and neat and get them down to exactly eight feet and bring them across the street. I moved the sawhorses here and it looked like a leaf fell, but we have a little tree frog right there. I don't know if that's the guy that was making all the noise yesterday. There, I think that was a toad. We have a big toad that we see around here and something was making a huge amount of noise over here. But this is a tree frog. 
I'm going to scoop him up and move him out of the way so he doesn't get hurt and then get back to cutting wood. Not sure where to go with them. This deep grass should work. Dude. Time to go, little guy. Tree frogs are so cool. Oh, he doesn't want to leave. He's gonna hold on. Oh, he's got a yellow belly. Come on, guy. Gotta get to work. Yeah, zero fear. And they have them, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they got them big suction cups on the ends of their toes. It's probably not the best place, but oh, I think I know a better place. They like to hang on the side of stuff and I don't think they're much of a, a grass dweller. Oh, hold on little guy. So we'll go right here. Oh, dude, you got to get off of me, though. Oh, here we go again. Come on, guy. There you go. All right, he'll be all right now. Okay, that was kind of bizarre. That little tree frog that I just put over here a little while ago, and he went under the container there. He was poisonous. I started loading this wood onto here right after that, and it felt like I got a bee sting, but it wasn't all of a sudden. It just came on at over a couple minutes or so. So I went home, washed my hands good, and put some Benadryl on it. It's right here, and it was a little bit purpley at first. And just for the heck of it, I asked Cindy to look up tree frogs in Wisconsin. And sure enough, he was a poisonous tree frog. What the hell? But I'll be fine. Okay, let's get the rest of this on there. Okay, I got the first board in. This was probably the straightest board out of the batch. Now, this board has a slight bow in the middle. So what I'm going to do is get it nice and even up with the other board on the end. You can see it's not touching the nail there. I'll put a screw in here. Another one down at the other end in the same place. And then I'll take my clamp and just snug it up to here. Put a screw in there and then put the rest of the screws in. Then I'll assess the next board. Oh, and this one is actually upside down. All boards have like a little cup to them. The cup should be up in exterior work, but this has this big chunk of Wayne right here. And what Wayne is, is basically it's the cambium layer. It's the outside edge of the tree. And I probably could have used it way in the back because I, I believe I have to trim that board down. But we'll just do it this way and hopefully the screws will pull out the cup because otherwise the cup can hold a bit of water and the board's not going to last as long. But we have some really good screws so hopefully we can get the screws back out of this one. The screws that were in here originally, we got those, oh, what was that? Probably 12 years ago, 13 years ago. And they were practically giving them away. Uh, Cindy worked at Lowe's at the time because they were not made for the new type of treated lumber. They were made for the old type of treated lumber. I saved a couple of them somewhere to show you. Ah, there they are. That's what happened to them. They just totally disintegrated. And when they first came out with this new treatment, uh, a bunch of decks and stuff fell because people were still using the old treated screws. And 
it does not work on the new treated lumber but that was a long time ago pretty much anything you buy these days is going to work and these are really good ones so hopefully we'll be able to replace the board if it rots out a little too quick but like i said this entire little deck we're just going to pick this up and move it around the corner and it's going to be for the back door back there at some point okay that's it and like i said i just put a screw on either end and pulled it up nice and tight this is a 16 penny nail and it's just tapped in lightly but it's just a spacer and if you don't do that your boards are going to end up all squirrely by the time you get to the far end well maybe not on something this narrow but it's it's still going to be off by the time you get to the back end even on something this small and the way it is we have a perfect gap in there I've been rushing trying to get this done as fast as possible because we have that storm coming. I don't know if that's going to hit us, but it looks like this will, and that's rain as well. So I'm going to have to hustle here for a bit. Okay, I got my last piece cut. I have to lay out for the screws. I have to do a little trimming on it but I'm gonna have to put away all the tools. That rain is coming directly towards us and it looks like it's gonna rain pretty heavy for a little bit. So I gotta get all this stuff put away first. Then I can get back to finishing this. It looks as though we are not gonna get any rain from that storm there. Hold on. Yeah, today was an incredibly interrupted day, and it still is. Natalie's BFF is here, so I can't talk very loud. They're right up there. But it's done, and it's really nice. Very sweet. I actually did weed for about an hour at lunchtime, and there's not a huge amount of weeds in here. What I'm trying to do at this time is just whenever a grass gets this big, when you can definitely see it above the other stuff, I yank it out. Otherwise, I just leave it alone. And this stuff, which looks like ragweed, as I'm walking down the road, there's a few places where it wasn't planted. I will pick some actual ragweed like that and match it up against some of that stuff because some of that stuff is actually flowers and I believe that's one of them right there so it's pretty interesting I'll have to get at this tomorrow if I can I have to spray the vineyard tomorrow and a few other things yeah we're in a real time crunch here but that's okay so if you want to get the full tour of the garden here, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.